This week's Photoshop tutorial is very simple and for all the beginners. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at retapro.com. On this channel, you get to learn everything about Photoshop design in the weekly quick tutorial. So in today's episode, I have a very, very simple, basic logo for you. So if you're an advanced person, maybe come back next week. This week is more for all the beginners. So yeah, let's get right away into this. Okay, so over in Photoshop, in our right hand side here in the layers palette, you guys get to see again the design and the background as well. Now guys, like I mentioned earlier, this is a very, very simple tutorial today. Um, if you're advanced, maybe this is not the tutorial for you, but if you're a beginner and you just quickly want to create something very simple, this might be a tutorial for you. All right, so let's get right away into this. First of all, again, the background over here um, is just basically a jungle picture that I found on Google. I'm also sharing this for free. So you can have a look down below is the link where you can find this. Then as well, also over here, I've added just a little bit of a light spot behind it. So this is going to go behind the design just to brighten up it a little bit in the center. I'm also going to show you guys in a minute how to do this. Great. Also now, before I go even deeper into this whole tutorial, I want to quickly mention the artist of the font because this font is not a... It is available for commercial use, but if you're using it on a personal basis, you can use it for free. If you're using it for commercial, please consult, first of all, with Francis, if you may, or whatever. Then you obviously have to purchase it from him. So over here, again, you can find his links on thefont.com. His name is Francis Studio. He has a few very awesome fonts already in his uh, whole library. So yeah, do have a look. And also in the description down below, you can find the link straight to his address and his stuff okay so let's get back to the tutorial what i want to show you guys now quickly is just how to do this logo so i'm going to turn everything off here and start right away on top of the background i'm also going to turn off this layer okay so press t on the keyboard get into the text tool i'm going to make a nice big selection and first of all write gossip obviously select it with the right font already okay i'm going to write gossip here and first of all i'm going to select my character box over here set that to zero you can also maybe slip this in a bit more, but at zero, it works the best, especially with the font. Okay, I'm also going to go with a white foreground color here. Set that to OK. And right away, the font is called Lost in the Wild. So basically, have a look down below in the description. You can also find the font over there with his address. Okay, I'm going to accept this. It's going to be set at 120 pixels. I'm also going to zoom out a bit and place this somewhere here in the middle. I'm not going to work with some guidelines because yeah, it will be a bit longer. If you want to work with guidelines, just go over to view and set some new guides over here. Great. So that will be my, say for instance, now the logo and the title that I'm using for something. Maybe if you're creating a logo or whatever. So gossip it is, and maybe it's a gossip around the jungle voice. So what I'll do is still add a little slogan over here. So let's select the text tool again. And I'm going to write a small slogan just called the voice. Okay, it's still too big. You guys can't see it. Let's make it a bit smaller. Okay, it's also all in capital letter because it's nice for, um, again, the slogan. Okay, select that. And also I'm going to select a different font for that. For this, I'm going to stick with a very easy font. Again, Helvetica Neue. But I'm not going to go with ultra light. I'm just going to go with normal light. Then as well, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Something around 25 pixels here. Okay. And the tracking, my character box here, the tracking set still to zero. I'm going to hit OK and move this just down a little bit over here. We can also check. I'm going to place it maybe over here or a little bit more in into the design. Now, guys, also, if you don't have the character box, please go to Window and select the character box over here. Great. That's basically it already. Just moving, zooming out a little bit. I'm going to take Gossip and the Voice. Move that still a bit down. And also let's take the whole group. Let's move that out and press Command G. I'm working with a Mac. So if you're a Windows person, please press Control when I say Command. Okay, I'm going to rename this to Design. Design 2 maybe. Okay, and then let's just move all of this downstairs. Okay, we don't need that at the moment. So this was again our before. Okay, and obviously we still need to do this little layer over here. So this is our before and this is the after. So very simple and easy tutorial to replicate and also to create. Let me quickly show you guys also how to do the background. I'm going to turn this off. 
create a new empty layer from down here. Now I'm going to just select B on the keyboard for the brush. I'm going to hold Ctrl and Alt together in order to feather my brush. So I'm going to make my brush a bit smaller. And then also going to push it up so the hardness goes to zero. Make sure your foreground color is set to white foreground color over here. And now what I'm going to do is just behind the gossip on the new layer, I'm just going to create a bit of a, like a spotlight here behind it. Okay, we've got that, but now I'm still want to take down the opacity a bit more. So I'm going to start out with 10. And that's a bit too light. I'm going to push that up just a bit more, say something to like 20 or 30. It depends on how bright you want this to be. So yeah, super easy. I'm going to stick now with 21. Let's actually delete this. And this is basically the tutorial. Super easy and super quick to replicate. So for all of you guys who are very new to Photoshop and don't know how to do things, here you go. Okay guys, so basically that is it for a quick tutorial here. Again, some credit for Francis for his awesome font. So do check that out in the description down below. And yeah guys, that is basically it. If you like me and just can't get enough of this, Click on your screen right now to subscribe. We send out free Photoshop tutorials every single week. And if you want to leave some feedback, let me know down below in the comment section or send me your tutorial right away to tutorials at retapro.com. So basically your tutorial request. Anyways guys, that's it for this episode. Catch you in the next one. Yeah, you are still watching? I know, that means you're interested to see some more stuff. Mm -hmm. Then you should just click over here because we have some more tutorials bundled just for you. So just click away or yeah, or keep on watching. But I'm going to go now. So make sure to click. Okay, see ya.